Hey guys, it is Jessica from BeSkinnyByTomorrow.com. So I wanted to make this video for you guys because I know that there are a lot of people that follow this page that um, have PCOS. And if you don't know what that is, it's called uh, PCOS, short for Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. Um, it is an awful thing to have. Um, I've had it for years and years and years. I was able to alleviate a lot of my symptoms, um, if not all of them, just by going vegan. Um, it has helped me tremendously. But in the last four months, I have been trying to figure out why I am working out, right? And I don't go to work out and like walk on a treadmill for 10 minutes and then like call it a day. When I go to the gym, I go to the gym, right? I go there to do what I have to do and then I come home. So. I couldn't figure out why I've been working out a lot, like five, six days a week. Um, I eat right. I eat so healthy. Um, I've even started to, I've dropped soy, I've dropped gluten. I mean, I'm like doing everything, right? On top of being vegan. So, and like, I'm losing weight, but not even close to the speed at which I should be losing it. So. I started to think about what is going on with me. What have I changed or stopped in the last, you know, few months? Um, because this is when it all started. Because as I'm like working out a lot more and more, you would think that I would be like at the point that I'm at right now. For the amount of working out I do and the amount of healthy eating that I do, because I I can't tell you like I've had maybe like one cookie, and it's a vegan cookie, and it's so I mean uh, in like the last like I mean month two months you know like I don't snack like I used to it's not even like that and so for the amount of healthy lifestyle stuff that I'm doing and have been doing in the last like four months I should have gone from like what I looked like which a little bit you know less fit than I am now to like completely shriveled up to a little tiny little bean I mean because it's it's just common sense that's what should be happening right but the reason that may not be happening is because of your hormones. So with PCOS, as we all know, for people that do have PCOS that are watching this right now, uh, one of the biggest problems is losing weight, right? It is incredibly difficult to lose weight. Although I will say, which is why I got into this, one of the reasons, that the wraps were the first and only things that ever did anything for me with my PCOS. It was the only product that I have ever used that actually worked to cause my body to shrink um, with PCOS, which is very difficult. So now I'm gonna talk about some stuff in this video that I'm sure people are on. I'm sure people have tried. I know all about the side effects. I know all about the good stuff, the bad stuff. So I'm not looking for people to leave comments about, you know, oh, don't try it, it's this and that. This is my life and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. So anyway, I've been trying to figure out what has been causing this, right? My very slow weight loss. Um, because like I was telling Dan today, on top of working out and eating right, I'm on vitamin D supplements. So that alone should be helping my weight loss. Um, as well as doing using It Works products. And I know It Works products in the past have worked phenomenal for me. And all of a sudden, like nothing's happening. So I started thinking about the last four months. I'm like, well, what have I changed? Okay, well, I started adding vitamin D to my to my regimen right but that should not be making me slow down weight loss it should be actually speeding it up so it's not that right and I started thinking about well have I been stressed out yeah super stressed out but not really anymore considering the vitamin D has made me feel better so I started thinking about other stuff and I'm like huh the only thing that I could think of that I've done is that I went off my birth control right so now I've done that in the past. I mean, before I met Dan, I've done that in the past, right? I don't remember it being an issue, but then again, in my past, I was overweight, not trying to lose weight, so it wasn't on the forefront, right? So I'm in bed last night and I'm looking and I'm researching and I'm like, can going off the pill cause either weight gain, slow weight loss, all those things, right? Apparently, apparently you can. Um, I found a website where there were, I don't even know how many testimonials on this forum and this website and this, whatever it was, where people were eat of, that had PCOS went off their pill 
and all of a sudden like within two months they gained like 15 pounds some of them like gained like seven pounds in a week it was like astronomical numbers where you're just like well, how is this happening right is, are they pregnant what's going on not pregnant nothing's happening right um but there were thousands upon thousands upon thousands of women commenting in this website uh forum where they said that they went off the pill and they gained weight or their attempts at losing weight weren't going as fast as they normally would have so i started looking into it more and i'm like okay so all of this started happening right around the time i mean this is like exact time frame that i'm thinking of um i'm obviously you know looking to start a family so i'm not gonna be trying to be on birth control um but at the same time i have pcos so i have to for the men that are watching this you can shut it off now but i have to regulate my my aunt flow right plain and simple and my body just doesn't naturally do that because of the pcos um i wish i wish to god it would but it didn't so apparently the uh the whole culprit of this is going off birth control now i have done a lot of research and i know that a very popular um pill is uh metformin and it's actually incredible for a pcos um it's great for infertility it's great for regulating your cycles um and it also makes you lose weight gee i wonder why because your hormones are completely out of their mind like going psycho and you know you kind of put them all in one room and you're like sit your ass down get your shit together and act like you're supposed to act and then all of a sudden your body follows suit right so that's what i need to do i need to get on metformin um, and tell my hormones to chill the hell out and uh, get me back like in shape and get me going because you guys when I tell you I eat healthy I eat healthy like tonight for dinner I'm having a head of cauliflower that I roast in the oven because one it's really filling two it's super low in calories and three I make a bomb roasted cauliflower and it's so good I have this like two to three times a week sometimes it is so good for you like if you like cauliflower, I'll give you my little recipe. But it's so, so good. When I tell you I eat healthy, I eat healthy. I rarely eat any bread anymore um, because I don't even like the gluten-free bread. So I just kind of stay away from it altogether. I have acai bowls for breakfast that I make so I know how many calories are in it. Um, I don't snack on anything. I, I don't skip meals. I eat like all day. But even if it's like little things here and there, I'm always having something that's good for me. And... Uh, so I just couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. So like in the last few weeks, I was telling Dan, like, maybe I should cut out gluten. Maybe I should just cut out soy. Let me just start eating cardboard. Like, what am I supposed to do? Turns out that this is a very big thing that I was completely unaware of. Um, and I don't know if you guys have been unaware of it or not, but I was. I had no idea that by going off birth control, you can either gain weight or like halt your weight loss attempts. I just, I had no idea. And then I started thinking about it. I'm using the it works stuff. I know it works stuff works. So it's worked for me amazingly in the past. Every time I've used it. But every time I've been on it, my hormones were in check. So do you see what PCOS does for people? It's a freaking nightmare. Um, but I am really, really excited. I have an appointment um, a week from today. And I don't care if I have to hold this woman at gunpoint. I'm going to tell her to put me on metformin because I know that's going to help me out. Um, one, with trying to start a family, right? It's like the perfect little recipe. And two, it gets your hormones in check. Um, and three, you lose weight, right? So, and if anybody has heard of metformin or has used it or has gone through terrible side effects, I know all about them. Um, and I also know that they are completely alleviated if you eat healthy right and I mean healthy like if you avoid if you drink a lot of water and you avoid like you know a lot of carbs and sugars and things like that which I do anyway um, the side effects are fine so I'm really really excited and I just wanted to tell you guys that you know as I'm going through this I want to keep you updated on my progress um, and let you know exactly what's going on with me right uh, whether it's with the vitamin D the uh, the metformin the everything I just dropped my pen um, so uh, I don't think it's only for PCOS. Um, I feel like metformin is for, I want to say it's for like diabetics as well. Um, I'm not diabetic, but 
Yeah, it is. It's a... Uh... It is for diabetics as well. So, um, it's, it's like everything, but it's not just for PCOS, no. But it is amazing for PCOS. Um, and as for somebody that, you know, is not regular, myself, um, not regular at all, um, and stopped the pill, like I said, like four months ago, nothing has showed up yet, which is also causing me to feel like, ugh, like seriously? People have gone on metformin in like within three days. Boom, there she is. So I'm hoping that that as well as the weight loss and things like that um, should be good. I mean, people have gone on this pill and they have dropped weight without changing anything to their diet and exercise and literally nothing. So I think that with me being healthy already, um, it should be incredible for me because I do work out and I do burn calories and I do make sure that I'm not putting junk into my body every single day. So it should be something. Um, but I am so excited right now, I cannot even tell you. And it's like, I'm just I'm just so excited. So I'm gonna update you guys with um, with what goes on with me. Um, I'll let you know like on a weekly basis. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go to the doctor on Wednesday and get the prescription and all that stuff. Um, and then uh, I'm really, really excited. So that's it. So again, yeah, sometimes, right if you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing and you're not losing any weight it's hormonal it is 1000 percent hormonal um whether you have pcos which you might i don't know um or you have just a, a hormone imbalance in general you know it's that's what's causing you to either gain weight or or not lose weight at the rate that you should be losing it at um like i was telling dan today i literally should be like completely like but it's not happening so I don't know what's going on so I after much research I was shocked to find out that when you go off the pill that you start that you start gaining weight and I think what I think is happening with my body and most people's bodies when they get off the pill and they have PCOS and then all of a sudden they either gain weight or like they can't lose the weight anymore I think what happens is your body starts to think that like it starts to prep you for being pregnant because you're off the pill and like your hormones are all crazy and it almost makes like 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 a cushion right like it thinks that okay you don't need to be losing weight right now because you have to prep for the child and all of these things right it's a crazy crazy thing and I told Dan today I was like do you see how ridiculous it is to be a woman like especially one with PCOS I can get rid of all the other symptoms no problem but like the main thing that I have to, I mean, I've tried everything. I've tried maca root pills. Um, I was about to go and get uh, progesterone, uh, progesterone cream. I mean, there's so many things for PCOS that you can try, but it depends on the, the level that you have it at, right? I've never, with PCOS, I've never ever been one of the women that has, you know, like bursting cysts right I know I know that that's a big thing and it's really really painful I have had painful cysts but like none that like exploded um, but it's been really bad since I've gone vegan all of that has stopped for the last three years so it's been amazing with everything else but for me trying to regulate that time of the month and then you know try and get pregnant and all that stuff I'm going on this thing and we're gonna see what happens. And I'm really, really, really excited. Like I have not been this excited in a long time about anything. So I'm just, I'm so excited. Like I'm already healthy. So this should be, this should be like a cakewalk. We shall see. But either way, check it out. Um, and, uh, and if you don't, you might honestly, if you don't know anything about PCOS, please look it up and please, um, please look into it because if you, have you know abnormal hair growth right like i'm gonna get like totally tmi right now but like i'm italian and i'm naturally like you know what we have right but like i should not be as a woman like i have like little hair sometimes over here and i'm like oh my god i have to get that out like it's crazy right and i know some people with pcos have like it's extreme i'm thankfully not like that but it's really really awkward and uncomfortable you know people with pcos like the hair falls out a lot um which for me in the shower is like every time I'm showering a lot of hair. Um, and there's, again, like I said, there's moodiness, um, 
because your hormones are all out of whack, one minute you're happy, the next minute you want to like kill somebody. Um, and then the weight gain on top of not being able to lose weight. So PCOS is a nightmare. It really is a nightmare. And I absolutely have hated it for all of the years that I've had it. So if there's anything that you think, it, and also it's, it's, it causes issues with infertility. So if you are, if I'm saying all these things and you're, you know, you're thinking, oh, that sounds kind of like me, but whatever, and you've never been diagnosed or you, you know, you don't know if you might have it, please, please go get, get, get that checked out because there's so many ways of being able to fix it. You can't get rid of it completely, but you can alleviate your symptoms and you can fix other issues that come along with that. Like for me, like I said, a big thing is hormonal imbalance. Um, people with PCOS, you're never regular on your time of the month ever. Um, and see, exactly, yeah. I mean, I'm so sorry to hear that, Angela. That is really, that's really crappy and I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a big deal. Um, and it, what's crazy is that it's not, there's still like, a lot of people don't talk about it, right? A lot of people talk about endometriosis and like, you know, other stuff going on, but no one really has done an extensive amount of research on PCOS yet. Like nobody has found a cure. Like there's nothing out there. Like, it's just like, you kind of just alleviate the symptoms. And it's really unfortunate because I want more people to be aware of it because it affects everything. Like your hormones affect every part of you. So, you know, again, if you're trying to conceive, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to just figure out why the hell are you so tired all the time? And it's just, it's your hormones. It is absolutely your hormones. Um, you know, get your vitamin G checked as well because that's that has a lot to do with it. Um, if you're miserable and all that stuff, but your hormones are everything. So anyway, for anybody that just hopped on again, if you did not know, I am somebody that has PCOS. I was diagnosed when I was 15 years old. I'm now 35. So I've had it forever. However, in the last three years going vegan, I have been able to make the symptoms practically go away. Um, it can never go away, at least not yet. They haven't found a cure for it, but, um, it's, it's an awful thing to have, but it is more common than you might think, but people don't even realize it. And a lot of times it gets misdiagnosed. So, um, the reason I'm making this video is because I want you guys to know that I have been having struggles in trying to lose weight at the rate that I normally would lose it at in the last few months. And I realized because of that, the reason it was, or the reason that was happening was because, um, I went off my birth control pills and, um, I mean, I can't be on birth control forever if I'm trying to start a family. So I have to do something, right? I have to do something. So I went off my birth control pills and it's been really like a struggle. I just haven't felt right being off of it. Um, so what I'm going to do next week after realizing that being off birth control, if you already have hormonal imbalances, you, you will gain weight or you will not be able to lose weight. And, uh, you know, birth control was great because it, it calmed everything down and it, it told the PCOS basically to like, you know, sit down, shut up and, you know, be normal. But once you get off of it, you're back to hormones going crazy. So it's, it's insane. So yeah, for anybody, I'm seeing a lot of comments come through that you guys didn't even know about this. So I'm so happy I made this video. Um, if you are trying to conceive, if you are not trying to conceive and you realize that you're gaining weight out of nowhere and you haven't done anything different, check to see if you went off birth control recently, because that will be the culprit. So that means you have a hormone imbalance. And if you have a hormone imbalance, you more than likely have PCOS. Um, not guaranteed because you could have a hormone imbalance without having PCOS, but please get that checked out. Do research on it. Um, PCOS is called polycystic ovarian syndrome. The uh, medicine that I'm gonna go on is called metformin. And uh, I'm hoping for the best here. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to update you guys on a weekly basis. Um, and let you know exactly how it's working or not working for me, but I'm going to stay positive and hope for the best. So that's it. Um, if you could please share this video as much as possible, because while I'm all about it works on this page and I love the products and that's what this page is for, I'm all about helping women, um, in all aspects. So I want you to, to share this with any, any friends of yours, any women in your life, share it on your page. Um, please get it out there because I want people to know that, that, this is a possible reason for weight gain. All right. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys have a great night and I'm going to get back to my cauliflower. And if you wanted that recipe, uh, send me a message through this page and I will, uh, I will send it. Thank you so much, Jamie. Have a great, have a great night, you guys. Thanks. Bye.